with Michael here. <laughs> Good morning. And I'm just recounting. Um, actually going to church yesterday. And uh, I hadn't been in about a month. In fact, it was the last time I recall was the Sunday before Father's Day. So, it's always intriguing. Of course, in the morning, you got to remember to write your tides because, uh, you know, that's very important. And it was first Sunday, so <laughs> we consider that dress-up Sunday where you, you know, you wear your whatever is deemed appropriate by um, the pastor, mostly. So you try to, uh, you know, comply with that. And um, <laughs> with me, I left my jacket on the bed and running late as usual. Didn't bother to turn back for it. Anyway, got there and, uh, you know, um, Sunday school. My wife taught Sunday school that day. And usually Sunday school starts with being a very small gathering. <laughs> and very interesting subject. Not at first, it seemed, but um, as the lesson developed, it became extremely important. And the lesson was about Haggai. Um, and the golden text was Haggai 1, verse 3 and 4. That said, um, you know, then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, um, you know, telling the people that... Uh, is it not time to build a temple? Because they were focusing on building their own fine homes. And um, it's so uh, intriguing how the lesson really spiraled into a full recognition of how significant the temple is. It's not just a building, but it's very representative of your faith and uh, the mantle that um, surrounds you. And um, so that was very beautiful, and well, we enjoyed it a lot. And after that, then we prepared ourselves for the, the regular service. And um, it was so nice to see everybody nicely dressed. Of course, um, the people who had recently been promoted, <laughs> there is a special um, joy that you can see in how they... Um, you know, they enjoy their dress and their positions. And uh, it's so delightful to see, you know, it, it, it is a good thing. Of course, those who've been there forever, um, you know, they're dressed too, but they, they don't have that kind of beaming <laughs> joy. It's like funny to see. And with the pastor, um, preach from First Thessalonians 5, verse 11 and um, I never usually remember exactly what the pastor preaches from unless I had um, made some specific notation or something really rang, rang out for me but um, what happened is that I used my phone to find the verse <laughs> and, and so uh, it was easy to open the phone and it goes right to the verse so I realized it was First Thessalonians 5.11 but it was um, basically about encouraging each other. And uh, I was thinking that sometimes when you preach that message, you yourself need uh, encouraging. And of course, the pastor needs encouraging. We all need encouraging. Um, and we, from our own experience, can recall how just some minor encouragement sometimes led us to accomplishments. And uh, so that was very lovely. But the pastor started off and uh, he mentioned that uh, people who were very critical of the church and uh, talk about all the hypocrisy example that went on in the church. Usually on that fateful day when they, they needed somebody to preach at uh, their funeral. <laughs> there was a clamor to get the pastor. And so he was saying he was not one to um, really embrace a eulogy that was all adorning when he hardly knew them. So one could hardly fault him. Of course, I found it funny. But of course, it's true. People without all their critiques of the church come that fateful day, they'll be seeking 
a temple to be buried at and a pastor to conduct a service. How strange that is and how true it is. And uh, so the, it, it was very lovely. Um, oftentimes the pastor will uh, post a message on uh, YouTube and so you do get to reflect even though you might recall and uh, so that was a uh, church uh, the whole message for this Sunday school is available uh, in an audio format and I'd be happy to post that to anyone who you know request it uh, all right uh, <laughs> trust that little summer might have been entertaining until next time hope you enjoy the devotion as posted here today and um, until tomorrow michael here bye